Hi, this is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, this is an introduction into a five-part video series that I'm going to be doing. These video episodes are going to drop back to back to back and should occur daily for the next five days. I may actually double up on some of them, but the uh, purpose of this video series is actually not so much for this particular audience, although it may be, or actually will be very useful to this particular audience both in helping other people and maybe being able to present um, some information to some people that might be in your orbit. But what it is, it's a very tight, concise video series. It's directed specifically at people with either zero or very limited experience and knowledge of radio. Now, why am I doing this? Um, since last Monday, I have been not necessarily inundated, but I have uh, I've seen a massive ramp up in the number of questions I'm getting about radio. Now I get questions about other things too, guns, gear, that kind of stuff. But because I uh, again I'm kind of known for being mildly knowledgeable about radio, or at least I've got my my uh, my ear to the ground on radio. I have a lot of people in my orbit that are asking me questions, and the questions have changed. Um, which has kind of gotten my attention. In the past, um, in, in the past few little things that we've had, specifically the, the C-19 thing, I, I had people asking me about radio, and, and I've discussed that. I've discussed uh, setting up the GMRS uh, network for my family and friends, that kind of thing, for just communicating in, in the event of a natural disaster or some kind of power down situation or what have you. But we're now into a different thing because it's on. Now, what it is, uh, is going to be largely dependent on who you are and where you're at. Um, I'm not going to recap what's going on with what's now collectively called the current developing situation. If I were to do that, this video would be about four hours long and it wouldn't serve any purpose. If you have no idea what I'm talking about in terms of, of it's on, um, I, I envy, uh, I envy your, your bliss uh, that you're not aware. But... Um, it is definitely on. So a lot of people are starting to network, they're starting to organize, they're starting to get groups together uh, just for the sole purpose of, if anything, having a few sane individuals around them that they can rely on should things get weird. And they are going to get very weird. So what does this have to do with radio? Um, the usefulness of radio is starting to appear in people's heads because they're realizing that things like the smartphones that they're carrying are not a reliable source of communication. They're starting to understand that having some kind of decentralized communications method is going to become very, very useful here in the very near future. So I'm not going to really get into all of the reasons why, because this video series is going to explain that. But this is just the impetus for me to put this together because as people are now starting to realize, hey, I need this, I need that. And maybe during all of the things that have developed over the past couple of years, many of them have gone out and they bought, um, they bought storage food, they bought guns, they bought ammunition, they bought med kits, some have bought some solar power, things like this. But now they're starting to see the communications as a whole in their planning. And it's something they need to fill and they need to fill it very quickly. So the purpose of this is take people again that maybe they've used radios in the past. For instance, I used radios for, gosh, 20, 25 years professionally as just a piece of issued equipment to me. I had no clue or understanding of how they worked. If I needed something done um, specifically with uh, to set up a certain communications method or, or communications gear, I just went down to the radio shop and I had the wizards down there perform their magical incantations and I got what I, I needed. But now people are realizing, and you may be an ex-cop, you may be ex-military, um, you may just be a, a, a knowledgeable and well-trained citizen, Regardless of where you're coming from, um, you now realize that you don't have a radio shop. You are the radio shop. So whatever comm plan you're going to put together, whatever equipment that you're going to, to get together, you have to do it yourself. And when you start dipping your toe into communications, it can get very overwhelming <clears throat> because you're either going to go to a, a traditional ham radio site or you may go to a GMRS site and you have to like collect all this information together. So the whole thing here is going to be I'm going to present very basic information step by step 
to walk you through it. I'm going to break it up into five parts. This is part one, the introduction, and the parts are going to read out as follows. Uh, we're going to be talking next in part two, and I'm looking to my notes here, so I make sure I cover all of this. Uh, but we're going to be going over the different, uh, the different amateur level services and the legalities surrounding those. We're next going to talk about operations, how you're going to use these radios. And then the last two parts, uh, part four is going to be about recommended radios and part five is going to be recommended accessories. Now, the whole intent here uh, is, of course, to present this information as clearly and concisely as possible, but it's not going to be as comprehensive as I normally do. I am going to give tips, hints, and suggestions and resources. I'm going to point you to videos that I already have if you want more information. But in the end, the idea is to get somebody um, to have a decent understanding of the different amateur services available the different legalities and licensing requirements for those services, whether or not to bother with any of that at all, um, appropriate radios to select for the service that you're going to select, and useful accessories to go with those radios, and then of course how to use those in the field in the most general sense. But again, I'm also going to include pointers and links to videos that I already exist, that I've already done. For instance, if I'm talking about recommending, for instance, an FT65 radio. I'm going to talk about it only in the in the most basic sense, and then I'm going to recommend, if you're interested in this, to go look at the video that I've already done on the FT65, and then you can get more information. So the whole idea here is just to get someone up to speed very quickly with a basic understanding of amateur radio operations. Now, the last thing I'm going to ask is that you use the comments section extensively. If you're viewing this radio or this video as a person who is just learning about radio, go into the comment section and ask questions. If I can help, I will. Um, I don't get into the comment sections as often as I would like because I'm a busy guy, but when I get a chance, I do respond in the comments section. And if you're a a regular viewer of this channel and you see someone that's asking you a question, please help them out. The rest of the stuff about, about the situation and litigating that, talk about it if you want, um, but I think we all kind of understand what's going on. I think more importantly, we need to, this is part of the overall equation. We're not trying to solve the whole, the whole problems that the world is being faced with right now. I'm just providing you information on a tool that may be useful going forward towards helping you assure the safety of yourself and your family and your community. So with that, I'm going to bring it to an end. And again, the next video is going to be part two, and it's going to follow immediately after this. And when I say immediately, it's going to follow when I get the video done, when I get the video uploaded. I'm going to be doing that video right after this one and uploading it as quickly as possible. But that's going to be on the uh, amateur level services and the legalities surrounding those. So with that, I'll bring it to an end. Thank you for listening and or watching. Uh, this is Scott, Kilo CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Southwest Visalia, California. Have a great day.